Hey, my bold and the beautiful fans. Yes, it's Tuesday. We are back with another episode, the first day home from Rome, and we got to talk about it. First, we see Taylor telling Ridge that he's doomed when he announces that he's back with Brooke. We also see Steffi lets Finn know, at least partially, what happened in Rome with Hope. And then Liam confronts Hope about what happens in Rome. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless, and the bold and the beautiful. This is your bold and the beautiful recap for June 27th. And without any further ado, let's talk about this episode. So now we're back in LA. Everybody's home from Rome, including Brooke and Ridge. And I gotta say, I'm not surprised that Ridge is back on this same merry-go-round once again with Brooke, but we'll talk about more of that later in this video. And then I still can't get over the fact of Hope telling Thomas that what happened in Rome better stay in Rome. Like she's calling the shots. If Liam didn't already know, Thomas could really blow up her world, actually. So yeah, but let's get into this. Now, speaking of Hope, we're at the tiny cabin in the woods, and I got to say, Hope is being a real piece of work. She got home, hugged Liam, said she missed him so, so much, and I mean, I can name one time that you did miss him up on that Coliseum with Thomas. Hope started talking, and Liam asked her, how was the trip? She asked him, uh, is everything okay? He seems like something is wrong, and then he flashed back to her kissing Thomas. Liam told her that, you know, to tell him everything that she did in Rome, and Hope was looking like, uh, everything? Now, Hope was going on and on about the press. He told her he wished that he could have been there to see it. Oh, he saw it, all right. Hope looked over and then saw Liam's suitcase, and she assumed that he was going on a business trip. She looked at that tag. It said Rome to LAX, and she was like, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Were you in Rome, Italy? He said, yeah. She asked, why were you in Italy? Uh, to see you, Hope. And you can tell 2 plus 2 equal 4 in her mind. She had a big old gulp. I don't know if you guys noticed that when she swallowed because I think she kind of began to realize that her goose was cooked. And yeah, we have to wait to see what the fallout from that conversation will be. Another person dealing with this mess is Steffi and she's at home thinking about Liam telling her that Hope kissed Thomas. Now Finn comes in, tell her that he missed her and not to leave him like that again. Steffi said that she has something to tell him and it has to do with Hope and Liam. Finn says, well, look, I know Liam went to Rome. He said Liam wanted to surprise Hope. Steffi said, well, Liam was the one that ended up surprised. And you too, Steffi. Now, Steffi told him something happened between Thomas and Hope. And Liam saw it with his own eyes, all four of them. And the interesting thing is, she did not, as of yet, say what Liam did next, which was Finn kissing your wife. So now over at Forrester, Brooke is there and she is basking in her afterglow of being back with her destiny. Brooke tells them that she and Ridge are reunited and back together. And of course, Eric is over the moon excited about that, along with Donna and RJ. They're thrilled. I guess everything in the world is right again, even though RJ again claims that he don't want to meddle in his family business, but he seems to always be in the middle of the family business. And finally, it looks like Ridge is coming over to check on Taylor, bringing her bad news. She asked, how was his trip? He said, amazing, but not what he expected, huh? Like he knew that he wasn't going to come back with Brooke. Boy, you ain't fooling nobody. Y'all do this every year, this roller coaster and merry-go-round. Anyway, Taylor said that she heard Thomas was a huge hit and said that this was good time for their families. Now, Ridge says that he cherishes their family and always will sound like a big old butt coming. Of course, it was. Taylor, he cherishes Brooke. He decided to get back with her. He told her something happened in Rome and something that she needs to know about. Taylor said, you know what? I already know what you're going to say. He told Taylor he had no idea that they were going to reconnect or whatever. He said that he has to give this one more shot and Ridge 
when Brooke does the fifth chance along with you because you're a waffler too, Ridge, you know what's going to happen. And please don't run to Taylor. Now, Ridge said that this is different. He's older and wiser now. Um, older and wiser than November of 2022 when you got hit with that pine cone. Ran to Aspen and then run to talk to Taylor. Yeah, Taylor told him that her happiness does not depend on him. And look, I'm going to be okay. She told him Brooke will betray him again. And Brooke will also be Brooke Logan. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. I know with the spoilers at the end of the week, both Taylor and Brooke is supposed to have a confrontation. Uh, Taylor, why won't you just walk away from that? But, of course, it keeps up a good soap opera drama. So, we'll see how everything unfolds. Okay, so there you have it, your Bold and the Beautiful recap for Tuesday, June 27, 2023. If you haven't checked out the Young and the Restless recap for today, it has been uploaded to the channel. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye!